You, 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 you are tuned in to the B-Sides on THA AfterParty.com. Hey y'all, this is Stucky from the podcast 2BBCs, that's Two Broke Black Chicks. We're live every Friday from 7 to 8 p.m. talking about sex, being broke, and living in the city of Dallas. Be sure to tune in every Friday on Side B on the After Party Radio. See you at the party. Again for another motherfucking episode of Ooh, BBC. What's up? It's your girl Solo. Right. If you ain't know though, this is Morgan Stucking. <gasps> Stucking and Tula Ray is in the building She's on this back. fine Friday. She's back at it again. And yes. my yellow BBC. <laughs> back at it again. I can't talk like him. Megan, what is wrong with you? What I do? Did y'all see he got this on a Rolex? Who? Uh, no. Yellow Beans. Is that what they was talking about? Mm-hmm. I'm so out of whack. He got this on, on social a media. Rolex. A bus down. It was nice, too. That's nice of him. He's two, and his baby was like, Oh. That's nice of him. Yeah. <laughs> so when what happens when he gets bigger? Like, do a he still got the links for the Rolex to make sure? I think they he probably get, do. I think it's gonna get bigger, but I think he's gonna want a bigger face. Yeah, true that. So mm-hmm. yeah, nobody want no baby face Rolex. I for sure don't give me the means. That's what I said. If I ever get one, I want. Don't give me I no women. I, I want, want the big face. One. Oh, I want. I want a Richard Milly more than I want a Rolex. But I settle. <laughs> I'll take either either Audemars, Rolex, uh, Richard Mille. So how was y'all week? Good. Um, we have a question in my inbox for this girl that messaged me. I don't know if it was a girl or a boy. I don't know. Okay. You look it's, cute with your little hair on. Thank you, Megan. With your little Shut hair. up, golly. So let me read this out to y'all. <laughs> so um, so I told I'm a I told her some advice, but I want to know what child advice is going to be. God, oh my Jesus. God, what is okay. that? A fucking novel? <laughs> it's a situation. Okay. So she said, "Okay, so I'm new to this whole life. Um, I've been committed in a committed relationship for all of my life. I was trying to fuck this boy that I went to high school with. By the way, I'm 30, so I don't even remember him. But we had uh, we was flirting heavy in the DMs for uh, a little bit. He sent me his number. We text for a week. I went over his place. He cooked." He was kind of quiet, but then he, he was heavily flirting with me on the elevator as I was leaving. Um, he mentioned he was fasting from six in the DM before she came over, but then he said that he was uh, just playing and he didn't want to come at me like that. Huh? Yep. I'm confused. You, right how there. are you confused, man? He maybe? said he was fasting, fasting before, he, before she came over. Uh-huh. But then when she got there, he was like, no, nah, I was just playing. I just wanted to see what you. Yo, I think after like no after she left when she he was like heavily flirting with her like oh, as they was like leaving the okay, elevator okay. Mm-hmm. he said that okay. and then um he was like he texted me the uh she said she he texted me the next morning um but then was kind of dry all week then I started talking freaky and then he started talking freaky in my DMs again and was like when you ready uh, to turn your words into actions the next day I messaged him around 10 like you sleep you sleepy he responded no and no but then left me on red what do you think does she have his number mm-hmm. oh don't trust that nigga cause he's in DMs and he got your number so he be messaging her on the DMs and on in, 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 in her text messages mm-hmm. yeah I, I, he I sounds had, like a fucking headache, to be yeah, honest with you. Yeah. Like, he sounds like a fucking headache. I wouldn't even start my whole life with that type of nigga because... He sound real unsure. Unsure <laughs> as fuck. Like, he, he don't know if he want to fuck with her or not. Yeah. If he want to have sex with her or not. Exactly. He I wouldn't don't. start my whole life with that yeah. uh, flaky motherfucker. Find somebody Hell else nah. that want to fuck you. Yes. That For wants real. to fuck you. Because they going to put in that, that work. Yes. Even though for whole life, you really ain't got to put in no fucking work. Just you that. really do. If you ain't really been single, single in Dallas, niggas do that all the time here. They'll give you they'll give you some runaround dick after they realize they got you. 
Like, if, if you ain't really been single, single, like, you don't really know that person. Mm-hmm. Like, motherfuckers will try to, like, pl- like leverage their pussy. <laughs> For real. Nah, let that hoe go. Give yeah, that's that, what I told him. Give him that's, I said, he seemed like he wanted to, he wanted you to make the first move, which is coming, unfortunately. Um, if you want to have sex with him, you got to come on a little bit stronger. If not, I feel like that nigga got a situation he be playing with you. He <laughs> like, he if playing. he not that type of man that be like, oh, you know, like, I don't want to, trying to act like a gentleman, but he ain't really no gentleman. If I, I hate text, those. Yeah, if Ugh. I text any nigga at 10 o'clock and he let me on red, he don't want to fuck me. That's mm-hmm. how I'm looking at it. Like that's that's true. That's he true. He don't want to fuck me. Like they be trying to leverage. He don't want to fuck with me. He don't really care about. Or he got something at home with him already. That's yeah, what man. I told her too. Especially getting them short answer, no, the short no. replies. No, like, no, yeah. Leave that nigga. Go to another nigga. Yeah, it's don't start your whole it's life with that niggas. nigga. Too yeah. many. Too many. I yeah. get a lot of DMs like that. This was crazy. And so they be what like, you what you tell her? You tell her to leave that nigga. Like, no, I said I feel. I was like, well, um, because I it was like she texted me some other stuff saying that oh yeah I did say this and that. I was like oh well he must he be he playing he must got a situation. I said because yeah. a lot a lot of females that don't that ain't that nothing's wrong with them they really text me that whole thing. Mm-hmm. And before I was dating in Dallas, I was like girl, well maybe it's just no. That's how niggas really be like they be trying to leverage pussy. And then I be talking to my friends that be dating that are males, and they be doing the same bullshit. They be just trying to see. They be like, oh, okay. They be trying to leverage pussy, bro. And it don't be ugly ass females. It be like popping ass yeah. bitches love GG females type shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they be trying to make it seem like they ain't thirsty over pussy. They be trying to be making it uh, play cool over it. And then yeah, they end up I losing just, them. <laughs> it sounds like she just want to fuck him anyway. And, mm-hmm. so, and he playing. Yeah, he playing. Bye. Next. Next. That's what she said. She was like, oh, he probably do have a situation because I said, yep, it don't really matter because a lot of females message me. A lot. And a whole bunch of female followers follow me that, that look like bum as fuck. Got a big ass, like got a, like a bum ass body, nice ass, all that shit. And they begin to run around dick. I don't want no run around dick. I don't want nobody that's got me Is going you going to give it to me or not, bitch? Or not. Like, like I don't have... I don't have the time. The time or the energy to waste on you if you're not about that life. I did have a situation like that before mm-hmm. where I wanted to fuck a nigga. And we got alone in the atmosphere. And the vibe was just, oh, so what you want to do? Watch TV? Mm-hmm. No, bitch, Let's I want to fuck. Like, mm-hmm. I want to be your friend. No, no bitch. Barney, I want to fuck. fuck. Yeah, like. Fuck wrong with you. I, and I had to let that hell go, like. He was like, I can't believe we never got that chance to fuck around. Because you're playing. That's because you was acting like, uh, like you said, a trying to be a gentleman, you but really didn't like want to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you all, about, you all in my inbox saying the dick pics. Bye. <laughs> Bye, you. Show me that and then when you play, play, like, Bye, you. Let me see they the be trying to like, like fake act like a gentleman. I'm like, what the f- fuck is going on? <laughs> then I get home, I can't wait till you ride my face. Well, what? why can I do that when well, I'm Well, why didn't you put my face up there? I'm right. To like, tell you. why you didn't put me up there? I didn't even have on panties that day. What the fuck? <laughs> like, see, ugh, see, you playing and I don't like that. You yeah, look at my face. Like, playing with my fucking emotions right now. And I guess when I was younger, I would have been like, oh my goodness, he just didn't want to make me feel like a slut. But now I'm like, yeah, I was ready. You should have been ready. So fuck you. Bitch, this shit been brewing all fucking day. Yeah, I've been and thinking I get about over this here and say, this all bullshit. day. <laughs> I get over here and you really want to watch this. We could have had met at we could have had met at a park, like okay. Like, or like really went somewhere. I'm not going over nobody's house. I don't chill at people's house. Me I can chill at my either. own motherfucking house. I do not chill at That's people's what people house. don't understand. Like I, I don't, don't chill. Like yes. I was gonna ask that because I had a male friend who's like, I feel like it's it, extremely weird. But he says it's just a nigga mannerism. He won't take a girl on a date unless she came over to the spot and chilled at his house or he's chilled at her house before. No, you not. I'm not coming to your house mm-hmm. or you not coming to my house unless Fucking you don't already took me on a date. It's not even a date. Dates. Uh, uh, like a few dates. A few dates. Really, to be honest, you a whole fucking bunch of dates, bitch. Like, you got me fucked up. I'm not about to come. Ch- what the fuck I look like? I look like a door chill. woman? Like, to like, come chill at your yeah. house? What the fuck we gonna do there? 
No. I hate that shit. Like, I hate when Mother's people try to be do having that shit. furniture. You don't even got no pool table. Yeah, we right. can't do shit. Like, you we don't even, even go... have fucking Netflix. You know, so what the fuck am I going to do? It would be different if they stay somewhere like with a rooftop <laughs> bar or something. Can you meet me at my apartment? <laughs> so I got a rooftop Type, yeah, bar. Yeah. We got a bar up in here. Yeah, we can play pool. Like, bitch, you just want me to come and sit up on that little low-ass, cushion-ass couch and sit there uh, and stare at each other mm-hmm. while you play, while you play your stupid couch, ass. Because you don't have a fucking set. Don't even have a fucking love seat, bitch. Like, no. oh, God, I cannot stand it. I am not one of them chilling the house ass type bitches. I've never been one of them. Like, bitch, you're going to have to take me somewhere. If I come over and chill, it's because I re- I'm i really tired. Mm-hmm. Yes. Or I really want some dick. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's that's the only because, reason. It's not because I like you that much that I just have to be Or unless you cooking. Spot. If you cook, if you cooking, uh, yeah, I'm man, definitely coming over. I'll come over. And then after I'll we've done over. eating, it's either... If we fucking, we gonna fuck. And if we not fucking, bitch, what are we gonna do next? Because we going Cause somewhere. We got to get the fuck up out of here. We going somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we going out for drinks or we going to walk through the park, walk this food off. Yeah, it's like, let's just go walking or some shit. I'm not about to come sit in your fucking house. I cannot stand that shit. That makes me very uncomfortable, especially now in the climate that we're living in. People is getting chopped up <laughs> and thrown in freezers and shit. Yeah. I'm not about that life. At least Ted Bundy me on a full stomach, bitch. Okay. Let me eat first. <laughs> like, if I ever, if something ever happened to me like that, God forbid, I want to be full and I want to be You said, high. let me eat first. Like, I do. I probably want to be, well, I don't even slump no more, but if, I, if I'm drunk, like a, a nice little tipsy mm-hmm. and full. Give me lit. Like, let me, let me be, let me go out on a good note with a yes, bang. Yes, you know with a saying? motherfucking bang. But I got a topic for y'all today. What's and the I topic? Don't, I don't think it, I think it's kind of heavy, but not really. Oh, God. I can't do heavy. My braids are already heavy. Okay. Cause... Your braids are heavy? <laughs> Bitch, when I do it up in this little bun on top. Oh, Saki so had put all my braids in the bun. Bitch, my top of my head was out of You so I weak. Because your, they didn't even have many braids. You had, she done had so many braids before. Those, Those ain't even that much. Those braids was heavy, too. <laughs> you weak. That's. Yeah, maybe my you remember I used to go like this. this. <laughs> you got a little bit. Yes, I still don't know how you do that. I have too many braids. Like, even though these are not a lot of braids, it's still more braids than other people have up in their head. Like, I don't know. I don't you know. got a lot of hair though, so that's why you got so many fucking braids. Yeah. Okay. Now. Okay. So yeah, I wanted to know because I feel like all three of us, in our own way, are very, are very uh, independent. Know what they want. Go for it. Uh, no hoes bored females. So I wanted to know, have y'all as liberated, liberated, that's a good word for it, liberated women experienced heartbreak and what did you do to deal with it? Girl, like, yes, I don't experience heartbreak. Like Golly. as a grown up? Mm. What you mean? <laughs> I wasn't a teenager no more. Okay, so yeah, that's funny. Yeah, as I was in my, t- uh, my 20s. I still am in my 20s, okay, bitch. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, in my early 20s, yes, I experienced heartbreak. Like, I thought my soul, my heart was ripped out of my chest, and a nigga just mowed it with a fucking lawnmower. Like, I couldn't breathe. Oh, God. Like, no, that day, I couldn't breathe. I was really heartbroken yeah. that day. <laughs> I couldn't breathe. I was crying and shit. Okay. Well, okay, finish your question. That was the question. Oh, How okay. did you get over it? How did I get over it? Uh... I think uh, how my mama raised me helped me get over shit. Like my mama always told me that I'm a not 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 necessarily she says the words bitch, but she always told me like you pretty and you smart. Ain't nothing gonna ever be able to stop you. And if something do, like you know what I'm saying, hurt your feelings, you gotta shake it off and keep moving. Like I ain't yeah. one of them type of people that dwell dwell. I don't think nobody in my family, as far as women, uh. None of us dwell on shit. Like, we just, okay, that shit happened. We're going to cry for a minute, and then we're going to keep it moving. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know how I got over it. I just cried, told myself I'm a badass bitch, and moved the fuck on. So how long did it take? Just a day? Because <laughs> <laughs> you cry and get over it in a day. Uh, no, it's not going to take no take? day. It's uh, not going to take no day if you really do I want to say I cried that day. But I didn't cry no more. And I, I kid you not, this is like the only, not the only heartbreak, but this is the only person I, that made me cry. And I told myself ever since that fucking day that I cried, I'm 
not crying because of a nigga ever again. And I never, ever cried up, up because of a nigga ever again since that fucking day. Like, ever. Like, I don't know. I think he just took my feelings away. But I guess I'm a weenie. Because you be crying. I cry a lot. Hell oh. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ain't no nigga I can't even picture like, you crying. I am a weenie. <laughs> I, I don't think I ever seen her. I seen her cry one time when we was in high school. That's it. Other than that, I never seen her cry. Is that what Sergio died? Yes. That's yeah. the only time I ever seen you cry. But, yeah, I think it probably took me. Okay, I cried that day. I think it probably took me like a I don't know. I think I was okay the next day. Like, I think I was okay. I don't know. Hell, that was so fucking long ago. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. See. Oh, but see, when he broke my heart, me and him was still together, though. Like, we we, we still tried to work it out for, like, two to three years after that. Hold on, wait. I was, like, 19, 20, 21. Two years after that, we still tried to, we were still together. We still tried to work it out after that. And then by the time I turned 20, I want to say by the time I turned 21, before I turned 21, I was over that shit. Like, I was like, no, bitch, like, I'm done with you. Like, I'm leaving, bitch, and I'm not ever coming back. And so, Megan really used to be in love with people. No, I am person. A, I'm talking about the person that she was with, child. I am used to a be lover, weird. so I get it. I, I get it. I love and I love <clears> hard, and it's. I can love you from afar, and that doesn't bother me. Um, I can love somebody I'm dating and not be in love with them. Mm-hmm. But when I yes. choose to be in love with you, like, I'm all the way in. Like, all the way. And it took one nigga. <laughs> See, to br- okay, I'm going to let you finish. Because then it I had an epiphany. One to break me. One. And... I didn't. I think I thought I knew what heartbreak was before, <laughs> but that nigga there, I was like physically sick to my stomach, like throwing up, mm-hmm. like couldn't. That's eat, when you made me. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, like that hasn't happened. Hysterically crying to in like I thought I was gonna die. I literally got in my car. And was like, it's over. Like, my life is over. I'm going to just drive until I can't drive no more. And I ended up in fucking Houston. (laughs) You couldn't drive no more after you went to Houston? It took you three hours? It took you three hours? Three hours. Oh, my gosh. You so fucking weak. I was still about 40 minutes outside of Houston. So, yeah. Oh, you stupid. I was a weenie. I had popped, like, five bars. I thought my life was over, y'all. You thought you was going to dead that shit? Yeah. Like, I'm about to die. I was like, myself. fuck it, it's over. <laughs> I'm killing myself. This is it. Oh, my gosh. But, I like, like you did. You, you dealt with him for two more years. I dealt with this nigga for 10 That's years. too long. 10 more years with that stress on my chest about him breaking my heart. But I was like, okay, maybe. And it was mostly me. I'm not going to lie. It was me thinking, okay, <clears throat> I'm going to change this nigga mind. Because Sagittarius women, I don't know. If y'all like in the signs like that, but we're very good manipulators. And we think we can manipulate everything and everybody. But sometimes can see through our bullshit. And the ones that can are dangerous creatures. <laughs> they because dangerous, but yeah, y'all try to manipulate everything and everybody. <laughs> no, you're the dangerous creature. <laughs> yeah, but that's because we just want to be loved. Hello. So we want everybody to love us. And we want to give love. So I thought I could make a person love me by mm-hmm. doing all the right shit. I think a lot of people think that in mm-hmm. the beginning. Like when we were Not younger. Not for 10 years though, bro. Not for 10 I was years. stuck for 10 No, there's years. a lot of people. A lot of Solo, people that I grew up with. Not even fucking 29. Do that. <laughs> like what the fuck? A like, lot of people that I grew right? up. Yeah. Oh, you just turned 29, 29. last yeah. month. Like. A lot of people oh, be in these God. on and off relationships for years and a long time until they figure out and they get it and they like, oh, okay, I should never did that. Yeah. You're not the only one. Yeah. You're when not the only one. you said one. about being in love, I thought that I was in love with one person until I became in love with another person. And so until I became in love with my last boyfriend, like, I don't think I was ever in love. I just think. Like, one of my boyfriends, I just loved him a, a whole lot. Yeah. Like, I loved him a whole lot, but Had I don't think I was on. ever in love with him. Because if you compare it to my last one, because I don't know if you want to compare it, because, again, I was older. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. And, and then that the other one, I was before. younger, and it was mm-hmm. new. It was like my first love. But that my last person, oh my gosh, I was in love with him. Like I would drink, I would lick his asshole. That's how much I love. I was in love with him. Yeah. Like I would lick every part of his body. I don't care I, if he just shitted me. Like nothing. yeah, like fresh off the shitter. Yeah, yeah. like I was still that's licking. The type of, like, that's the type of in love that I was, and I didn't know it was gonna hit me that hard <laughs> because in my head I was just like, I'm gonna just fuck with this nigga because he's popular and everybody knows him, and he gonna be my boyfriend. The first day I saw him. And the crazy thing about it is my homegirl introduced me to him because they was talking. Mm-hmm. But she wasn't like <laughs> she wasn't like my homegirl, homegirl. We went to school together. Okay. She was like, come outside with me real quick. This nigga that I'm meeting is on the yard, and I want you to see him and meet him. I said, bitch, I'm not going outside because if he cute, I'm going to take him. Oh, God. At least you honest. I, listen, back then, I didn't give no fucks. Mm-hmm. You could have a wife, two girlfriends, a bitch on the side, and I was... Still gonna fuck with you. But I went outside and seen him. I was like, oh, bitch, that's gonna be my boyfriend. <laughs> She's like, what are you talking about? I said, I love him. <laughs> I love everything about him. Like, that's gonna be my nigga. And I bullshit you not. I think that the first time I laid eyes on him was like in March. Mm-hmm. We went to Relays in April. By May, that was my nigga. <laughs> I was not playing no game. You game. spoke it into. Yes. Yeah. Fruition, yeah. And it was one about. of the best relationships I had ever had until I realized it was completely fucking toxic. And the way I got over this nigga, y'all, it was it's so childish, but it worked. I had to detox myself. Like drink juices? Like poop? No, no, detox myself from him. Like literally Making his pity. <laughs> delete his number on my phone. Oh. Uh-huh. Delete all social media mm-hmm. that was connected <clears throat> to him. Stop talking to any of the people I knew that was associated with him. Mm-hmm. Cut off every friend that mm-hmm. might have knew him, might have talked to him, might have been cool with him. Cut all them off. <laughs> like, fuck y'all. I'm sorry, but I'm doing this for me. I did it for 90 days. On the 91st day, I took him out to eat. And I had a conversation with him. Benny got all that shit off my chest that I wanted to. Mm-hmm. And I was like... Nigga, you had me fucked up. Mm-hmm. No, just playing. It, even, it was that. like, hey, like, why, why did you do me like that? He was like, I've told you this before. I was like, well, tell me again, because I need to know. Because I'm one of those type of people that need closure. I can't just leave a situation and leave a situation and be done. Mm-hmm. Really? I I need it. I think a lot oh, of well, us I need guess closure. I just be trying to, I think I like to, I want, I want to know why you move the way you move. I guess, I guess that is closure. Yeah. I want to know why you did that. So then the next nigga that I talk to, I just make sure he don't do yeah. that same bullshit. And I want, like, I want to know where I fucked up at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What made me fuck up? So I won't do that same type of fuck up again. And I'm not going to lie. After that conversation, after that dinner, that nigga put me on game about being a, a real ass female. Because mm-hmm. a lot of the shit that I was doing and a lot of ways that I was moving was very... Childish. <laughs> I was fucking with him. Like it was just childish. Like yeah. being friends with his friends because they was his friends. Childish. childish yep. Being I'm friends, never with, friends, his friends with his friends, baby friends. mamas, because they was cool with him. Childish. Like the shit that I did was child. That's why I don't, I don't have no fucking friends now. Because <laughs> I cut all them bitches off and realized they wasn't my friends. I was just fucking with them because of who they knew. Speaking of signs, I'm not really good with signs or whatever, but all of my friends and all of the people that I actually dealt with was like Pisces, and my sister is a Pisces. So this is what I be feeling about Pisces, bro. Girl, I here feel, she go. No, I swear to God. Here she go. Because my, my my favorite cousin is a Pisces, Brandy, I think she is. Ariel's she a Pisces. Is. Megan is a Pisces. Ex-boyfriend, Pisces. Person I'm talking to now is a Pisces. I be feeling like a l- y'all truly don't really care about certain things. Like y'all <laughs> we really don't. make a show. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so <laughs> y'all truly don't really care about certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all really can just get, literally give two fucks and shit like that. Like y'all tone people out when y'all don't really want to hear what you got to say. And um, but with that same instance, y'all are very sensitive. Like itty bitty stuff bother y'all, but y'all don't be in y'all feelings about it. Until it actually builds up 
mm-hmm. and then y'all end up crying about something that's so fucking minute and minor, and y'all don't realize that y'all was holding that aggression in mm-hmm. when it comes to certain things. I learned that about myself. Man. Like, I, because y'all y'all really, truly, really don't really care about, like, a whole bunch of different things. Y'all gonna think what y'all gonna think. Y'all don't mm-hmm. have to express how y'all feel about something in that instance, and y'all can sit on information, and y'all can sit on knowledge, and y'all don't have to be the person that's in the room like, oh, yeah, I know this. I know this. Like, mm-hmm. I can do this. I know this. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I be feeling like y'all be holding on to itty bitty things unknowingly, and yeah, then y'all, it y'all, is. and then it build up, and then y'all just pop. Y'all be like, you know what? Fuck this. Either it be like radical, or it be like a crybaby situation over literally spilled milk. Yeah. And it'd be like, it ain't even about to spill milk. It's something else that actually happened. It's like itty bitty situations. Yes, I told you. you I like, told I you. Yes. That. that was just a trigger. Yeah, it was just a trigger, bro. <laughs> I can see that about Pisces people because. I don't know if that's right or not. I'm just saying, like, the no, people that's, that's in I, my life. That's how I am. I don't know if it's right I, or not, I though. Be going off. And they tr- they really don't be truly caring about it. Or, like, they really don't have, like, a strong opinion about stuff. They be like, mm-hmm, okay. Because <laughs> I, my life, I've, I mean, for a long time, I've known Tula. And she's always been the person in the room that probably knows the most about what's going on in the room. But I ain't going to say Not shit. a damn thing. You hear me? Not going to say nothing. Until somebody say something to her. And then it's what fucking fireworks. Like, bitch, get back. Because now you didn't lit the fire. <laughs> like, now everybody got to die. Because yo, That's why Brandy is. Brandy like this. You want to say some shit. Everybody in the room going to die. Everybody everybody Brandy die. is like that. Brandy be trying to kill people every time she fights somebody. <laughs> That's what is mean. wrong with That's you? Why I don't like fighting because I'm I want to fight. That's how death. Ariel is. No, I, I want to fight to the death. Like every time I see you, I'm gonna want to. If I didn't kill you the first time, I'm gonna want to kill you every single time. That's why what I, wrong I try with not you? to be. Crazy. Like, crazy. <laughs> I try not to fight. Like I don't. That's why I don't like fighting because I feel like it ain't over until one of us die. That's what how is I feel. wrong with y'all? Like, that's how I feel. And yeah, and that's how Ariel it. be. When I be like cool with somebody, I wasn't cool with. She be like, I can't. Come on now, now, now it, that, that is true. Like, I don't hold shit, grudges, girl. but if I pronounce if this comes out my word that I don't like you, we not cool. It ain't no way in hell that we are ever, ever in life gonna get back cool or we gonna become friends. If those words come out of my mouth, where I say. Tula does not like blah blah blah. It's not no change in my mind. Like you, you change your mind on shit. one person. Who? I'm not gonna say the name on here. Text it to me. I'm not about to text it neither. I ain't who? got time for that. I'm watching how cakes are made. But uh I wanna know who. It was like a boy that you was messing with and I didn't think that you was gonna uh mess with him no more. You was like, Oh, we made up. Oh Yes they do. Because they be like that with they niggas too. Twenty eighteen. I don't know. But oh. anyways, for my little Start heartbreak. Make it. Oh my God! Look, this is what they do look. too. They can't just let stuff look. go. <laughs> ah, it's like with I'm this. not gonna tell you because it's gonna fuck with you this whole uh, podcast. Anyways, I already know you're talking about. Experienced your heartbreak in? No, I haven't really experienced heartbreak. I don't really be in love with people. I don't let myself fall for people. I don't. But I don't know why. Like mm-hmm. it's just. I don't know. I my feelings got hurt before, but I really wasn't in love with them. Well. Your feelings got hurt. That's what I think what we was talking about. Yeah. And then no, Courtney but said, I really wasn't like in love with nobody before. I really liked people. My feelings got hurt. It was like, man, why did he say this? Or not even why he said it. Like, why did he do this? Yeah. I'd be confused yeah. about people movements. Actually, and if yeah. and then niggas move dumb anyway. So it's just like the first time I actually see you and meet you, I'll be like, I actually figure you out. And I'm like, I'm not gonna fall in love with this motherfucker. I'll fuck mm-hmm. with him. Mm-hmm. Heavy. I think my heartbreak comes with friends. But not with like a oh, man. I'm sorry. Girl, shut up. But not with like a man, though. What's your sign? A Taurus. Taurus. She a fucking asshole. No, I... girl. And then Pisces be assholes, y'all. Don't <laughs> let them motherfuckers fool y'all. They be trying to blame it on us. No, bitch. Y'all be holding grudges. Y'all be stubborn. And y'all be uh. What I'm call stubborn it? to an extent, but I. That's one thing I will say. I don't hold no grudges. I'm just gonna continue. If you be like, well, I like her. I don't like her because of this, this, this. Like, I'm not going to hold no grudge against you, but it's like, I'm not going to ever, like... She's not going to change Like, I forgive you, but bitches still fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like Anyways, I think I had heartbreaks about, um, what's it called, like, friendships, but not, like, a nigga. Oh, I'm sorry. Because niggas are niggas. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. And I don't like how men move anyways, because they be stupid. I mean, you get your heartbreak by friends, too? Yeah, that's why I said I had my heartbreak by friends. If you value your relationship with your... 
your friends and stuff like that and people that surround you, they can really break your heart sometimes. The shit that they do or something that, how they move or actions that, or some shit, sometimes it's stuff that they say, you be like, why did that even fucking come out your mouth? I'm sorry that happened to y'all. Girl, damn, damn, I must I don't... be the friend that do that shit. Cause that ain't no. ever happened to me. No, I don't think you that type of friend. Yeah. Cause I've only had my a... friends haven't did that to me. I haven't had a friend that. Really but you did. don't, Megan. You don't really have friends. Not, not that y'all don't. You don't have I friends. Do. I have but five you, solid. girl, Megan. I always be like, well, I got a cousin and my sister. Like you always have backup. Yeah. Yes. So, like, if I don't have no friends, I always got my sister and I got a slew that, of fucking cousins, bitch. That's what I'm saying. And, like, I actually went off to school and had to, like, depend on other people other than my family. You get what I'm saying? So, it's just like, yeah. And then your friends been with you since day one, really. I and then you always one. be like, well, if I find out with them, I I have Morgan. You always I had in the back of your... weekend, too. <laughs> I said... Yeah, I was like, my friends, I'm a, I, I got said, my I don't, and, I'm not, and my cousin. I'm not... No, mate, you really do got blur. Maybe Brandy, but me and Brandy. Me and Brandy is cool. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so we not? Girl, yeah, y'all are cool. cool y'all cool, cool. But, you know, your, your lean on person is blur. You Girl, and blur I be right. <laughs> she's not dependable worth <laughs> shit. But y'all be clicking, though. Y'all be on yeah, the same we, thing. We do be on the same thing. <laughs> I think Brandy a little too roguish for you. Like, ah. Brandy, Brandy is roguish. At the wrong times for me. Like, can we be roguish when I'm ugly? Not when I'm cute. Like, can we be roguish when I'm ugly and I got on sneakers? But yeah, I think Megan really realized that her friends are just her friends. To the cops, they They break break my heart. (laughs) (laughs) That'll break my heart too. I think you really just put your friends in like friend category instead of like family category. them. I no, I'm not saying that. You can be what you call it, but most people really be thinking that they friends are like literally like they family. No, I, I have think a I, I'm like that that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what, that's I what I'm saying. I am though. the only child, so my friends are my family. Mm-hmm. And I see, have, that's how, oh sorry. That's, that's why you haven't my, really that's got how my friends are because Brittany, her her sister is like umpteen years younger than her. Kristen's the only child. Sakitra got older. Don't siblings. Brittany got an older sister though. She got a guy sister. Oh, that is but, a guy sister. But um, I, I feel like they are. I sister this whole time. Huh? You talking about a guy sister? Yes. I didn't <laughs> no. know that it was. But that's how my friends is. They like either. They basically like the only child. Mm-hmm. So when they have like, I'm like, since I'm their friend, they just love me to death and I can't be friends with nobody else. No, you can't. That's how I feel about my friends. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I ain't no friends, bitch. I'm your friend. They be bitch. like people be crossing the line for friends and like family. Like Ariel be sending me stuff like this gonna be us. Ariel, I'm not being friends with you in my thirties, bro. We gotta explore other. How do you mean I'm, we not gonna be friends in our thirties? I 30s? wish Charity should not motherfucking friends. We gotta go be married next to each other, bitch. Like it's forever. Girl, that mug is funny. She was like, bro, yes we are. You ain't getting rid of me. I'm like, oh my god, bro. <laughs> Ain't yes, gonna be us. We friends. This can't life. be us. But see, y'all got somebody else. Y'all got sisters and y'all got cousins. I don't have no cousins around my age that I'm close with. None. Not a one. <laughs> the one that I did have died. Both of them. One died when I was in college and one died recently. Damn. And Yeah. And then they was niggas, so that didn't help. So my female friends, I stick to them Boy, like... Boy, cousins ain't reliable. I don't give a fuck what anybody not. say. I stick to them like glue the friends that I do have and I think my downfall with them is I tell them the truth too much and they be mm-hmm. like bitch you didn't have to say that well I'm not lying they be like well Megan why did you have to say it like that well bitch how else do you want me to put that you fucking stupid exactly say you fucking stupid instead of you fucking stupid Megan you you be doing a little bit too much like I be doing that too with oh, so <laughs> it's, it's all on me no. <laughs> You do. Girl, you do be doing a little bit too much. That's why we don't be telling you, sir. I be going off the rocker. Girl, this fool is crazy. Me and my mama don't be telling Megan certain stuff because Megan don't know how to internalize it. Like, oh no, it'd be crazy. Be Megan do be. Girl, I'm like, did you say that to somebody? Yeah, I said I, this. I don't know why she mad. Because the way you said it, bro. I said, I'd be that's like. That's how Ariel used to be. Ariel used to be raw, uncut, and just be like, well, that's dumb. I'm like, oh my God. 
Somebody had to really break it down to me and tell me, now, look, bitch, it's a way that you talk. It's a time and place where you tell the truth. Like, you can tell them the truth, but you don't have to say it so brutally, honestly. Like, I'm not. That's how I tell my friends. Grow a pair of nuts, please. please. Megan, no. You need to adjust. But that's I'm, how I'm, I was when I'm I was on better, social bro. when I was on social media and I used to be like, Y'all need to do this, y'all need to do that. Blah, 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 blah. It's how you actually say it's a time and place for like truth. Well, I feel like Man. I got better. Yeah, y'all, you have. I was, I was on Facebook one time and I think I lost a lot of friends behind this post. Mm. I know I, when I be like, fuck them kids, people be <laughs> Not so girl, people ass. don't even be taking care of their kids. Yeah, That's what I'm like. But anyway, like, fuck, fuck your kids. Kid. <laughs> fuck my kid and fuck your kid. <laughs> like, fuck your kids. But um, I made a post and it said, if you want to know if your nigga cheating on you, comment on this post. Oh, my gosh. And it was so many of my how long married ago, friends. How long ago was it? Mm-hmm. It wasn't that long ago? It was a minute ago. It was like five years ago. Oh, okay. And a lot of my and a lot of people was cheating people, five years ago. A lot of people that was before uh, Black Love came out. And I was asking probing questions like, "What do they do for work? What? Uh, how often do y'all see each other? Do y'all live together?" I'd be like, "Yeah, that nigga cheating. Yeah, yo, yo nigga cheating. Oh, yo, yo nigga, nigga definitely cheating." cheating. <laughs> One of my friends, she had only been with this nigga her whole life. <laughs> and she was like, do you think he's cheating on me? Mo, Duh. definitely. He done cheated he's a few times. He's experienced other pussy and you've never had another dick. He cheating. This one girl was like, is my husband cheating on me? I said, the nigga drives buses. He's cheating. With them prostitutes. Do you know, so many, do you know how many bitches he get to see a day for no reason? At and he all. don't never got to see him again most of the time. And it's easy to detach yourself if you don't, you know, live yeah. certain places from your sins. So, they was like, after I made the post, they was like, oh my God, I really, I, you really think that about my husband? You really think that about my boyfriend? No, yes. bitch, I know that about your husband yes, and your I boyfriend. Do. I'm trying to lightly tell your stupid ass. Girl, you Facebook, girl, people on Facebook be thinking all stuff is shit and giggles. And t- <laughs> <laughs> hey, am I lying? No. They, they be thinking they, they, they want to be a part of the mess. Stuff. They want to be a part of the mess, but not have the mess come to them. Or like say slick little ass comments. And But then when it's about them, it's all like they want to bring Jesus into it and shit like that. Where the fuck yeah. was Jesus at before? They was like, they, one of them told my best friend, I can't believe your best friend did that hoe ass shit. You commented on my mm-hmm. status. Mm-hmm. Did nobody tell and they'll you comment that? on your shit. On your shit. You, I told you to comment. I didn't you think your boyfriend on your page. Mm-hmm. You I asked on. the question. And if you want to know, you. yeah. Like, pe- that, like that's, that's dumb about like how people will post something like, oh, comment what you really feel about me. And then get mad when somebody say, bitch, I fucking hate you. I feel like you a creep. I feel like you a creep. Yes. Yeah. Like, uh, you're really weird. As fuck. And you get on my nerves. And I think you talk too much. And I think you eat people. (laughs) Yeah. Fucking weirdo. (laughs) Yeah, I believe that. But I had to realize, like... Because I was going to be networking with a whole bunch of people. I network with Kiara, all, them, all that stuff. So I had to really realize, like, it's a time, It's how you say stuff. It's a time and place to say your truth, and it's how you need to say your truth. Because at the same time, I can... The the relationships that I built with Kiara because of the networking, which I'm going to call it, and because I built relationships with y'all, a lot of those relationships would have had crumbled if I really just was just on social media reckless like I was back in the day. Yes, it was like, oh, yeah, preach, blah, 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 or like this, or say this, or what you, what you feel about this? It's like a time and a place for stuff. And people and people don't really, that's what I had to learn, too. I said two, I did a whole bunch of story times. I did two negative stories. I done did about 50, 60 story times. I did two negative stories. It wasn't even negative. It, to be honest, it wasn't even negative. It was just my point of view about a situation that was negative. That's the, that's the only thing that people, people remember, remember me from. Mm-hmm. Um, Morgan's messy. Morgan is da-da-da-da-da. What's wrong with her? Blah, 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 blah. And the last thing I want people to think that, that I am is miserable. So I had to really, like, finesse my way on how to do my story times, how to tell my truth, and how to just be honest with people. And then sometimes I just had to just let shit back and hit the fan. And don't even say, I didn't even say I told you so. Just let that shit hit the fan and just keep on pushing. Because you really be trying to save people. Like, swear to God, you really be trying to save people. And that's how me and you is. And then we get the butt end of the stick, like... 
<laughs> and then at I, least you I, got a baby. I don't got no child. I ain't got no baby. And I ain't, and I ain't, I mean, I ain't got no a child and I'm not married. So they looking at me like, oh, you real miserable. At least you a mother. At least we were like, oh, okay, you know, well, you know, she, no, yeah, they bitch. Except when mothers. they threatened to hurt my kids. <laughs> 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 this one girl hated me so much. She said when I was pregnant, she was going to stab my stomach. I was like, you hate me that much because I took your boyfriend? Like yeah, that it gets that deep, Solo. It gets that deep. Girl, people be uh, people acting. People be thinking that their boyfriend is their last First boyfriend. First of all, these they niggas is for like everybody. Oh. They, no, they didn't even fucking like each other. <laughs> no, swear to God. Like, <laughs> they I, are for I everybody. Was, I was saving you. You didn't want to give them no pussy. I had a lot of pussy to give. So, <laughs> <laughs> Girl, people don't look at it like that. I, I, I mean, like, come on, preach, now. preacher. You didn't want that in your life. You didn't want to give it no pussy. I had a lot of pussy. Who says? Oh my god! I'm dead ass serious. And then, like, I had this one home girl that kept lying about a certain situation, and I had to say, "Look, bitch, <laughs> I love you, but you are lying through your teeth." Okay, that is not how this shit went down. It never went down like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, I have some people in my life, and I don't know where I keep finding these project-ass people. Not, like, from the hood project, but project, like, they have need to, help. I have to build them together because I don't really know where they fucking up at. Yeah. And I'm one of those type of people that's not going to let you drown. Mm-hmm. If I see you, I'm going to extend a hand. I had to shake this bitch by the shoulders and tell her, you have to stop lying. <laughs> because people are going to find out. And they're asking me why you're lying because you're my friend. Mm-hmm. Just stop the lies. Oh, Please. Gosh. The lies. <laughs> the lies. <laughs> it was all a lie. Look. Was, I wonder if I know who this friend is. Yes, you know who this friend is. And you'll be like, oh, girl, she don't lie. Yes, you do. Everything. Ooh, I'm gonna wait till we get Everything out the podcast. Look at Megan just itching to know. Yes, you I You always want to know. know some shit. I do, mm-hmm. and <laughs> you because you nosy. I just be trying. She's 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 doing. I'm better. inquisitive. No, you not. Megan be wanting to know tea. She it be burning in her soul. <laughs> no, she don't even be doing that with just tea. It be anything. I get a package. What you getting your package? Oh, Ooh. Nosy, bro. All of them are nosy. They have to know what's going on, or they feel it's like it's yeah. like you not being able to sneeze. Like that's what. <laughs> it's like Is this a rag on Megan podcast day? No, oh, Megan. Not. Whatever. Fuck y'all. Fuck you, bitch. Just say you're <laughs> not nosy. That's. Say I'm not nosy. Girl, she be burning the nose. No, okay, so this is what I think happened. I'm really not nosy, but I kid you not. I be in a certain place and I get all the tea. Like, I don't be yeah. asking for it, but it just comes to me, and I just be holding it in, and I be waiting until it all connects together, and I be like, boom, bitch. Girl, I she need- don't even be, girl, Megan, you don't be be handling my tea that I be having. It be fucked up. It be like, I don't even want to know anymore. I'm sorry, girl. It be fucked up. I'm like, I don't want to hear funny tea. I don't want to hear no <laughs> fucked up. Like, yeah. That's how he got all that money. Yup. Cause someone, 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 so dog died. She be looking at me like, <laughs> the fuck? she be looking at me like, like that was too deep. I just wanted to know who old girl was fucking on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to know about how he went to jail and escaped this shit. And girl, ate people. like mm-hmm. I don't want to know. You know what? I'm the, I'm the, I'm the type of friend that you can tell your deepest, darkest secret to, and I'm not gonna tell nobody. But bitch, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all hoes something, especially y'all hoes that's my friend. <laughs> if you don't tell me it's a secret, bitch, I'm telling. <laughs> yeah, you gotta yeah, put. You- don't tell nobody. This is yeah, a secret. Like, Don't nobody know. I used to do that in the hospital. I worked. If you tell anybody, I swear to God, I'll beat your ass. I'm like, Morgan, okay. No, but for real, you got to put that disclaimer behind shit. Because if I'm, if I'm having casual conversation with friends that we're mutually with, and they bring something, I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, what is it? Is it? Is it? Is it happen? They're going to be like, Now, between bitch, my friends, I do got certain. What? Like, certain but friends it's, certain shit. It's like, if you don't want nobody to know. Just don't don't tell me unless you put the disclaimer behind it. Bitch, this is a secret from the world. Are y'all having like sisterly problems? No. <laughs> Megan is crazy. Are you drunk again? No, bitch, I'm just tired. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping and drunk is kinda like the same thing. I'm tired as fuck. But yeah, I I don't disclose my friend's secrets. 
But I have told some shit that was like, bitch, why did you say that? Because uh, that's what you said. <laughs> you didn't say it was a fucking secret. Is it not true? No, I'm just playing. Yeah, is it not true? I'm just playing. Like, I had... No. Is it embarrassing to you? Because you told me. Yeah. Like, it must not be that embarrassing because you told me. Because if I have a real life secret, bitch, ain't nobody gonna know. Yeah. I, got I, know, I don't know why y'all... Y'all need to stop doing this yeah. shit. Ariel don't know shit about me. Like... <laughs> Ariel don't. Ariel started knowing my no. I started knowing my stuff November two thousand and nineteen. She didn't know who I used to. She didn't know who I had sex with. Who my first was. None of that. She didn't. She didn't know that until November. Until I opened up to her. I am like a vault. I don't tell people shit. What'd you say? It's my best friend. Yeah, like I'm not. I don't do that. Like it is what it is. It's like I don't tell. I don't tell people stuff. That's why nobody can never really say anything about me because they don't really know me. The shit I do tell, I don't. I think the shit that I do tell. Megan don't know shit about me. I don't really want to know. No, I'm not saying it's a it's a it's a privilege to do that. I'm just saying, but do I just do I just tell you shit, girl? Ooh, look. No, I don't tell you shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Y'all need to stop doing it. Yeah, I just (laughs) I just don't tell you shit. But um, the shit that I do tell, that means that's the shit I don't mind about. Like I don't care if somebody else. Mm -hmm. Because it's gonna be the truth. That's the shit I do tell. Now, if it's some shit I don't want to be told at all. I'm then I'm going to keep that shit to my fucking self, and I have a few of those. Girl, I don't tell nobody shit. My my friend Ariel don't know shit about me like that. Megan don't really know shit about me. She's my sister. Like, I don't, I keep certain stuff to myself. I feel my like that's what... don't know shit. Mm, mama actually know a whole bunch of stuff about me. Girl, we went to the doctor when I was 18. They was like, are you sexually active? I was like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> my mama tricked me in the gynecology. Well, oh, she was my pediatrician at the time. Then I had to go to a gynecologist because <laughs> my mom. Your pussy got made, too big. No, my mom made her give me a, a pelvic exam. And my mom was like, well, did she stick her fingers in you? I was like, yeah. She was like, well, that means you're not a virgin. I was like, oh. Girl, why uh-huh. you look just like your mama? I guess because that's your mama. They look just alike. I think mama. I hated her when I was in the womb. For real? And I came looking at her. Like, they look just alike, like spin image. But yeah, but y'all need to stop telling like people y'all too, bees. Bro. Have like you seen daddy. her daddy? <laughs> <laughs> she look like her daddy too. It's weird. You look like your daddy too. Like she look like both of them a lot. Like you can tell that's her daddy, but her mama, that's her sister. Yeah, you look just like your mama, Somebody bro. Be lying in my life, in my lifeline. <laughs> that's your, that's might, your sister. That might be my sister, cause my mama's sister. They be like, they look alike, but. Your mama and her sister <laughs> do not look alike, bro. They look just alike. They just two different. Clothes. My mama and her sisters they don't, don't look, look alike nothing alike. Like, well, yeah, cause that's cause they all got different daddies. Bro. But still, certain people, girl, Dee Dee, my friend Dee Dee and her little white mama, all her motherfucking siblings look like a look like each other, and they have different black daddies. <laughs> they have some. That motherfucker got some strong ass jeans. Them white jeans be strong. <laughs> I was like. Yeah, they got. We all got different daddies. Damn, y'all look alike. But that, y'all look like y'all mama though. Damn, how many of them was it? Dee Dee's mama have a whole bunch of kids. Ooh. Well, not a whole bunch. She got the twins, Dee Dee and Desiree. Her her brother and I think two other people. I don't that's see how seven? anybody conceives more than <laughs> five motherfuckers. That's five. I, like, where did she I actually seven? counted. I said the two that twins, her brother, and two damn. other people. I'm off of work. I'm Girl, off she was of trying work. to play her mama. Isn't that seven? I'm sorry, Didi. I ain't trying I to think, play your mama like a hoe. I think she got four kids. I don't know why people have more than one. I really don't. <laughs> the world I want to have a whole bunch of kids. I always say, if you have kids, don't have two. <laughs> Who said that? Blur. <laughs> For real? <laughs> yeah, she always told me she's talking about one. It's okay. Two is hell. That's what she always said. Two, one. Girl, all of know, the women in our family don't hell. like. They be like, girl, y'all better not have kids. They be telling the truth. That's why I appreciate y'all. Because the rest of you bitches, oh my gosh, you're such a joy. No, Kids not, is all bro. fun and games when you get to take pictures with them. You know what I'm saying? Be cute with them and post them and shit like that. And you get to love on shit. social have media. You ever, have have back you and ever shit. tried to have a fucking photo shoot with a newborn? The shit is horrible. <laughs> they shit on themselves or they sleep. Or they won't get in the position that you want them to be in. Like, those little sleeping baby cute pictures, they take hours. No, I understand. Photo shoots take hours. And then they get older and they don't want to be still. And you got to give them candy. Now they geeked up and now they mouth dirty. And then they nose started running because they got fucking, uh, 
I just don't like kids. They got they, allergies and you find they, they allergic. I want a, I want a lot of kids, but I don't know who I'm going to have a lot of kids with. Yeah, I already know which one I'm taking. Megan, you ain't taking my kids, and my you kids ain't being around you. Why? <laughs> you done cleaned up. Girl, because you on some ghetto-ass shit. You be listening to trap music. Motherfucker, they need to listen to Disney motherfucking plus. They cannot but like bro, certain I stuff. I only listen to... You know and they can't be around me. your little boyfriends they or the people have, that y'all talk they to. They have to have I don't bring me. my little cousins around <laughs> my, my boyfriends or people that I talk to. I brought KJ around this boy I was talking to. Girl, they was playing video games the whole time. He asked about him. I took him over there about five more times. He had snacks for him, video games. <laughs> but he was a nice person. Bro, though. how you gonna say your kids? Like a, I do not be on no ghetto ass shit. Megan, who? What do you be listening to? Trap music. You have to have a yeah. balance. No, I ain't do, no balance. But we ain't had no that's balance. Because you know what? You just believe in Sam and Heaven. What they motherfuckers be telling you? <laughs> they bad any motherfucking way. According to you, them motherfuckers ain't bad. They they bad, but they not like minutes to minutes. They they own and off. Yeah, they they own and off. You can be bad if you're smart, kids. That's what my mom always taught. Yeah, I think <laughs> that is a good. I think that is a good listen. I think that's them. They like they they're just really irritating. I think they just irritates us. Yeah, telling me, talking about, tell, gonna tell my mama. Yeah, Megan be listening to Cardi B while she in the car with me. First of all, little Sam, I don't listen to fucking Cardi B. I listen to Young Dolph <laughs> when I'm in the car with you because you a man. <laughs> <laughs> Cardi B is for, for heaven and them, the little girls. The men is, is Jeezy, Dolph. NBA, she don't put, let me put on NBA, you a man. <laughs> I put on NBA, yo boy, all of that. So, the moral of today is, <coughs> hoes have heartbreak, too. I was a hoe that got my heart broke, but I got over it. And you, too, you can be a hoe that got your, your heart, heart broke. Break. Just and gotta get, get over it. Dust yourself off and try again. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> we didn't even tell them how to get over a heartbreak. Bitch, you just gotta oh, keep I, pushing. I, I, I you gotta, talk. you gotta do I them. Talk, um, I need talk. You gotta do cry. Self, self affirmations, too. girl. You gotta cry and then get over this yeah. shit. Yeah, you do gotta let it. Don't out. try to, don't try to hold your cry in. Like just if cry. you, you just gotta cry. You gonna I cry. A blood vessel in your fucking eyeball. And that's baby, like, I cried. But y'all, this been crying. another motherfucking episode of Two BBC. Uh, tune in next week because we have a special announcement. Bum bum bum. We do. Look at her, just lost. Always lost, lost in the sauce. sauce. Bitch, I Bye, just y'all. show up. Bye. 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 Look at you.